Hello, 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 and welcome back to my witchcraftery, witchery greenhouse. <laughs> now, all right, so I basically started planting a whole bunch of greenery around and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And huzzah, we did actually get the mutating sprig. Uh, our altar with one skeleton skull and a torch we're up to 40 almost 4900 uh which is amazing but we completed the quest right so let's get ourselves the mutandus extremis very nice and we got a couple other things we can do a critter snare or this grasper uh i'm gonna hold off for but a brief little bit we're going to jump into the next little section of stuff that I want to do. All right, as you can see, we are loaded up with stuff. Uh, but what we want to make is I want to make the terrestrial agglomeration plate. I think I said that right. It's not an easy thing to say. But I have everything already put together. The block of mana steel, one of each rune, and the three blocks of Lapis Lazuli. Now this guy here is pretty cool. And if we actually look at our uh, Lexic Lexica Botania, uh, you'll see that there is a good bit of info in here. Uh, where is it? I gotta find it. Bear with me. It's in here somewhere. I know it is. I got nothing. <laughs> Natural apparatus. Nope. Mystical items? Maybe. No, maybe not. All right. I don't know where it is, but it's in here and it's a really cool thing that we need to do a design on. So, so... all righty. There it is. It's under Terra Steel. Okay. So what we need is we need some living rock. We need some lapis lazuli, and we need to build this pattern on the floor, okay? Pretty straightforward, but we're also going to need a couple other things. So let's clear a little bit of space here. Uh, yeah, right. You know, I want to really just redo this whole thing, but uh, yeah, not much we can do about that. And what's underneath it? There's a living rock underneath the plate. Okay, so we need five living rock. Five living rock and four lapis lazuli. So a living rock like so. And the lapis lazuli goes around. And the terrestrial agglomeration plate in the middle. Now, one of the other things that we do require is a spark. Okay? Sparks are a very awesome item. In this. Oh, really? Why can't I find sparks now? Are you kidding me? Spark. Nothing. Alright. I gotta find sparks. Uh, maybe I can just look them up on here. I can't remember. Spark. There we go. Batania. Good. So it's a couple mana petals of any type. Doesn't matter. With some blaze powder and a gold nugget. All right, how did that happen? I don't even know. All right, well, we have a whole bunch of these. Um, how many sparks do I need? I'm gonna need eight, eight sparks. So let's get eight mana petals. No, sorry, how many am I gonna need? Five, I'm gonna need five. So 10 mana petals will be required, but we also need some blaze powder. Uh, I'm not sure how much of this stuff I need. I can't remember the recipe for it. That'll get us blaze rods. And then I guess we just get uh, blaze powder from there. Okay. So, around the horn. That. And that'll give us some of that. Uh, that is not enough, though. That is confirmed not enough. Uh, we might need to get some more essence of blaze, actually. Uh, but that's a pretty decent start. Anyways, let's get crafting on these guys. So I'm going to drop all 10 in, get all the mana petals back, and we need a gold nugget. A gold nugget. Aha, I have some. Excellent. Excellent news. 
Uh, we'll just place them all in the middle. We'll do that. And that uh, gives us enough for four. That scares me every time. I swear to God. All right. But anyways, what we can do is we can place these sparks above these mana pools and one above the terrestrial agglomeration plate. All right. Now, we're pretty close to being at the point where we can carry on, but there is a couple things that we need to do. So let's actually head out. Uh, this, we need to make Terra Steel. Now, Terra Steel is something that we actually can't make yet. And you know why? Well, Mana Diamonds. I don't have diamonds yet, ladies and gents. And for me to make diamonds, maybe we should do that. We should probably get into that as well. Uh, it would really help in a lot of different ways. Uh, here we are. Diamonds, we need to do the repeatable, I believe. Which is strong essence, obsidian, coal, no big deal. Cyan. And 48 charcoal blocks. What? 48 charcoal blocks. Yeah, so we need to do that once. We need one of them. Okay. You know what? I'm going to push through and we're going to get it. We're going to get it this episode. And then we're going to do a bit of building, I think, in the background. But I think this is very important. We need to get some diamonds rolling up in here. And we should probably also look at getting the emeralds too. But hey, we got a pretty good setup coming. I think we're doing fantastic. Alrighty, I think it's that time. That's right. I believe that I have everything on me to get our first essence of diamond. I do. Awesome. So now we need to make a diamond seed. All right, let's look at that recipe again. Here we go. One essence of diamond, essence seeds, four strong essence, glass, mana pearl, winter, and earth. All right, let's gather these things up. We have one winter. We have an earth. Awesome. We have the diamond essence. Oh, we can sleep. Oh, look at us go sleeping. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, what else did we need? I already forgot. Oh, yes, we need the essences. Um, okay, we need four strong essence, right? Uh, we need an essence seed. Oh, man. I really wish the essence seeds carried over. So, like, if I had 10, 10, 10 essence seeds, they'd be, like, money. Uh, we have a piece of glass. Was that it? Was that it? Glass. Oh, a mana pearl. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. All right. Good stuff. So I think we have everything. Glass. Yeah. Essence seed. Oh, really? I hate it when I do that. All right. The strong essence. Four. Essence of diamond. Rune of winter. Rune of earth. Is that right? Confirm or deny? Yes, 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 yes. All right. I think we're good to go. Oh, man. We are making diamond seeds. Uh, this guy here is a mana distributor. And what it does is it basically takes in mana from one way, and it will share it four separate different ways. So it's pretty cool, pretty useful, especially in this type of thing. Why? Where's the progress bar? Um, oh god, you can barely... You can barely see it? Is that right? Anyways, uh, let's get our living rock. We're about to get diamonds. How awesome is that? I, I am stoked. In case you guys didn't know, I am very stoked to get me some diamonds. Yeah, the blue on the blue is kind of hard to see. Or the cyan on the blue. Anyways... Uh, witchery, we had a minor fire. It's fine. Uh, it, there was a fire. Let's just put it that way. Alright, we're almost done. We're almost done. How much mana? Oh, that barely used up anything. Oh, man, it's nice having full mana pools. Yes, sir. Oh, is it done? It's done, right? Boom. 
diamond seeds, everybody. We have diamond seeds. Good. I have to pick one. Why would I pick the essence? That seems just silly. All right, diamond seeds. Oh, boy. Well, I'm going to go plant these. We need diamonds all over the place. Diamonds everywhere. Uh, and it's going to it's going to help us out because then we can get Terra Steel. Um, let's see. Did it open up anything else for us? It might have. Oh, we can do the diamond transport pipe. That's a thing. Uh, that's very useful, might I add. What else can we do with diamonds? I'm sure there's a lot that we can do with diamonds. Encoding the world. No. Uh, life of the world. I still need to get on this. We, we really could complete a ton there. Uh, didn't open anything in witchcraft or thomcraft. Really? Maybe I need to actually get a diamond first. That could be a thing. Anyways, I'm going to go quickly set up a farm uh, instead of bore you guys, and we'll be right back. Already, I'm back. What an amazing view. Am I right? You get the water flowing. Notice how Buildcraft does a view range on their pipes, which is smart. Uh, but anyways, we have something amazing to do. Absolutely amazing to do. You guys thought it was going to be one diamond, didn't you? Nope. 37. Hi. Do, do I get the achievement if I pick it up? No, do you actually have to mine it? That's impossible to get the achievement then. No. Yeah, but anyways, 37 diamonds completed. How oh. Oh, new quest. Oh, new quests. Oh, new quests. I love me some new quests. Uh, okay, so that one's a... You must construct additional pylons. For anybody who knows that reference in chat, feel free. You're old like me. And it's amazing. All right, two mana pylons, an enchanting table, and you get some random enchanted books. But we can also now get the Terra Steel. How sweet is that? Uh, what else can we do? Oh, we can do the diamond transport pipe. Okay, let's do a couple things here. Let's get the diamond transport pipe out of the way. That'll be easy. We're going to use them soon anyways. Uh, I think the stripe one isn't hard either. Gold gear. Yeah, that's not difficult. That's not difficult at all. I have gold. Don't I? I do. Look at me go. All right. We have gold. We have iron. Why have I not done this yet? Okay, eight. Eight. Good. Good. Wood. I got wood. I got wood, guys. Guys, confirmed. I have wood. All right, good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Beautiful. Let's get these into the stonular region. You know, one of the biggest things that I continually have difficulty with is actually cobblestone. Uh, I think I have it all over at the other base now, which we still have to get to. Oh boy, so much to do. One, two, one, two, good. We can make ourselves a little bit of the cobbles, like so. Uh, no, not you. I don't even remember what I was doing with that. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, that'll go into the stone gear. Then we're gonna get the iron gear. Then we're gonna get the gold gear, like so, excellent. And combine that with a piece of glass. Should give us the stripes pipe. The stripes pipe pipe. Now we just need emeralds. So those are done, those are out of the way. That's good. Um, an enchanting table. Let's do an enchanting table. Quickly, quickly. It's becoming nighttime, hurry up. We have a book, we do have uh, two books, please. Thank you. Vanilla is not hard. Okay, like so. And a vanilla is apparently hard. Enchanting table. Good. And what's the mana pylon? So we have an enchanting table now, don't we? So let's plop that down. Um, mana pylon. Mana pylon. 
Okay. Gold, mana steel, mana diamond. All right. That's easy. We'll do that too. We'll get done all these little quests. Actually, let's get uh, four mana diamonds. Let's get a couple mana pearls. Uh, it required mana steel, so I need six rip iron. Holy cow. And what do I need? I need four, six diamonds. Six mana diamonds. Okay. So six mana diamonds. Six mana steel. Two mana pearls. Nice. There we go. Let's just throw the diamonds in there now. So the first things first is we want to craft ourselves a piece of terra steel. So one of you, one of you, and one of you. And you see this thing is starting to do its thing, right? It's bringing in the sparks. It's using up the mana. And it turns green. And we have terra steel. Nice. Let's get another one going. Ah! Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Get that going. Nice. Uh, we need four pieces of gold to make our mana pylons. Just like so. We have two pieces of terra steel. Beautiful stuff. Let's jump on out. Let's get back into the two quests. I already have that one. It's fine. Nice. Claim that reward. We get an extra two Terra Steel. This guy. Oh, which one do we pick? That one. Claim it. Nice. Now we got the Natura Pylons and the Elven Gateway. Now these guys also work as bookshelves, if I'm not mistaken. Doing that will give us a level 30 enchant. Uh, if we actually... Yes, it does. Good. Okay, so that's our enchanting table as well. We have some terra steel. Did I make too many mana diamonds? Protection 4 and sharpness 5. Wow, those are good. Those are good. And we used up some of our mana. Also good. I had a ton of it. Okay, um, let's put these in here. Those are good books. Holy cow. And let's look at our book here. So this one here, I already did the alchemy catalyst. And I'm pretty sure it already gave me the slime balls. Yeah. So I'm just going to go quickly grab the cheat book here uh, from before and automatically complete that quest. Uh, because, well, I already did it. So in the previous version. Okay, and what we'll do, same same rules apply. We're going to claim that reward. Even though it's only four slime balls, we're going to get rid of them. Because we don't want any trouble, right? Okay, sweet stuff. So, oh boy, Natura Pylon. I don't even want to begin to know what this involves. I've never done the Elven Gateway. Let me just say that. So a piece of terra steel with two mana pounds. That's not that bad. That's pretty easy. And what's this? Elven Gateway Core. Okay. Elven Gateway Core. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. Okay. And Glimmering Living Wood. Glimmering Living Wood. Huh. That's actually not that hard of a quest. Three Glimmering Liverwoods, one Gateway Core, and one Natura Pylon for all that goodies. Don't mind if I do. Let's finish this one up. And then we're, I think we're going to jump on out of the questing. Okay, so that's done. Elven Gateway Core was Living Wood. Okay, I need 11 total. I need some glowstone dust. Ooh, dang. Dang. I gotta go to the nether. I gotta go to the nether. So, the first one, though, was basically some living wood around a terra steel. That's the elven gateway core. Nice. Uh, let's just put this stuff away for right now. Um, all these... 
Batania goodies along with some of this other stuff. And I'm going to go get some glowstone off camera. And I'll be back with you guys in but a jiffy. Alrighty, back into the natural land with the glowstone in hand. You like what I did there? I did. Oh, dang. Okay. Throw your Lexica Batania into the portal. Ah, oh, dang. There just had to be another part, didn't there? Alright, well, uh... Yeah, okay, let's see. How do we make the portal again? I haven't even made it once, I don't think. So let's take a quick little look. Alphamancy portal. Uh, obviously, we need eight living wood blocks. Three glimmering, one gateway. Uh, two mana pools and two natural pylons. Okay, which we've made some of that already. Uh, frame of living wood. Why is it blurry? Anyways. Uh, glimmering to fill in the those. The gateway on the bottom with a 3x3 three three hole, and it's on the same level as the mana pools, and then the pylons above the mana pools. Okay, let's start constructing this guy. Should we do it, like, right here? Yeah, I'm thinking, like, literally right here. So we'll move this torch to, like, there, and we'll go that. Uh, let's get some living wood. I have a whole bunch. So this should go there. Uh, we need a cool block in the corners. Hmm. What's a cool block? I don't know what's... What's a cool block? Let me think. Um, I don't have any cool blocks. Let's do lapis. Whatever. It'll be fine. We got, we got some lapis. You are going to have to go. We'll move you around to be, I don't know where, right there. Good job. Okay, uh, we'll do that, and we'll do another lapis beside that. We'll do another living wood on top of those. Then it's a glimmering, a living. Uh, let's complete it out. Let's make it nice with the lapis. We'll, uh, we'll finish her up nicely with the lapis. Good. And the lapis on top as well. Awesome. That looks pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, now we need two mana pools. Very easily crafted. Those guys. Diluted, not diluted. Pretty much nothing is diluted. Okay, and those need to be... Uh, how far away was it that they needed to be? Uh, it looked like... So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So, basically, just on the outside edge of the sides. So, one will go, one, two, three, one, two, three. Is that right? One will go there. And one will go right there. Is that accurate? I think that is. Okay. Not bad, not bad. We're getting things done. We're running out of time because I'm getting distracted by other cool things. Does it not look like they're one more out than that they are one more out than that all right one more out just on the outside okay sorry 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 day bloom but you must go you must leave us okay that's nice uh now we need those pylons the t natura pylons and we put them on top of the mana pools like so and how do we open this thing Place Natura pylons above. To simply to open the portal, simply right-click the core with the wand of the forest. The portal requires a substantial amount of mana deposited in both the pools to open up. After that, it'll slowly drain to keep them connected. All right. Well, here goes uh, nothing, I guess. Let's. Uh, hmm. Let's see. We don't have any mana in these pools, right? So that's a bit of an issue. You don't connect to anything. So I'm going to move these day blooms over here. Because they're kind of in the way. And I have a ton of them. Okay. Uh, are you good? Yeah, you're draining. Okay. 
Uh, you should be fine. You should be fine. And sure, you. Right? Nope. Nope, you got nothing to connect to. Alright, uh, torch, go there, boom, okay, good. So we've kind of cleaned up the area, now we need to get a spreader to go from the mana pools into these mana pools, from the mana pools and the mana pools. Oh boy. Alrighty, so I've decided that we're not going to open the portal till next episode. I want to have a decent amount of mana here and all that kind of stuff. And it's a good little separation. But there is other stuff that we need to do. Yes, that's right. We have everything to get the essence of emerald. Nice. Now we can actually craft ourselves the emerald seed as well. And get that guy going here. Okay, Mana Pearl, Earth, and Winter. Okay, we'll have to make another Rune of the Winter. And I have to get some more Strong Essence. But next episode, ladies and gents, we are going to get some Emeralds and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to open the Portal of the Elfheim. And boy, oh boy, it's going to be fun. I can see it already. But for the most part, I'm going to double check the time on the video because I'm a little bit concerned about how long I've gone in this video so uh, bear with me and I'll be right back alrighty so I figured you know what for all of those that you love the building we'll do a little bit here on the back end and as you can see we have our giant support beams right oh, well kind of a facade of them anyways uh, but we need to get the design going for this and for this we're actually going to i'm going to try some lapis lazuli and we're going to use some actual i'm i'm thinking we'll try this this might look good i've never played around with this block so i don't really know for sure but for yeah let's let's just play around with this it's not going to be a ton of building let me just tell you that Oh, that looks... Oh, that actually looks pretty good. <laughs> I kind of like that. All right, uh, let's go up one more. And then we build a cross. And then I have these blocks of gold as well. And we're just going to keep those vanilla texture. Very nice. Not bad, right? It's kind of a different little feel or look. But I, it's going to look really nice once we get done everything in the background and whatnot so and then this is going to come up and join over let's see how this looks all put together oh oh that's pretty sharp now picture with me there's going to be water running down the back side of this um i think yeah, we're going to do a bit of water. Now, I think for the most part, I might have to do something like this to make it go, you know, in the right direction, right? Um, other than that, I need flight. <laughs> right? So, we're going to have more or less water running down. I don't know if I'm going to put lapis behind it or not. But there's going to be water flowing down and more or less back into the ocean here. Not bad, eh? I think it's going to look pretty sharp. Um, let's see. Can we actually pull this off? Okay. Uh, I think we need this along with this to kind of direct it. But we should be able to. Ah! No, 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 no. Rip torches. Rip torches. Oh, maybe not. Did we save them all? Oh my god. By one. Alright, we gotta do this. Okay, so that's gonna go straight down then. That's what we wanted. And let's see how this looks from the other side. Whew, barely can make it through. Yeah, not bad. So we're gonna have water doing that on both sides. Uh, let's put up the other one right now. Okay. So this will be removed. 
That'll go like that, and we'll put in another bucket just to make it nice and kosher. So we will need to actually have blocks all around this. So that could even just be maybe even some stone bricks to blend it in, as well as back here. And that one might be lapis. But let's take a quick little look-see at how this figures. That's not bad. It's not that bad. It's a little bit sunken in, and then it kind of comes up, and then it sinks back in again. I don't mind that. I think that that looks pretty good. And with the water there, I think it's going to be really a nice feature piece. And it breaks up the monotony. It's very bold. It breaks up the monotony. But I think once we put it all in, I guess my only other debate is the actual regular lapis. So here, let's do this. And for those of you that are still watching the video, I know that it's fewer than most, uh, but I'd like your guys' opinion on which you prefer, okay? So let's get our chisel back and let's switch this back to regular old lapis lazuli and see what we like better, okay? Good, one, two, three. And we'll run this across like so. So which one do you like better? That one's not as much of a stark contrast as that one. That is just bold, right? Like that is, wow, look at me. Whereas this is a little bit more muted. So anyways, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you love. Tell me what you like. And thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Make sure you slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If this is the first video of mine that you're watching, holy cow, aren't you in luck? Because you found a fantastic home. Uh, but anyways, make sure you slap that button. Have a good one. See ya.